Hello again, you already know me from the campus tour. My name is Jenny and I just finished my third semester here in Kiel. I did my bachelor in geosciences at the University of Potsdam, where my interest in marine geosciences was awakened in the course Marine Resources. This is why I wrote my bachelor on a marine topic, which was gas hydrates, and decided to come here to Kiel to study marine geosciences. In November, I will participate in a research cruise to north of Svalbard to collect hydroacoustic data for my master thesis. I will write this thesis in Tromsø in Norway under the supervision of Sebastian Krastel, who is a professor at our institute. Let's hear what my fellow students have to say about the marine master and studying here in Kiel. So I'm Annabelle and I'm in my second semester of the Marine Geoscience Masters here in Kiel. I moved here from Australia, which is where I studied a Bachelor of Geology and Geophysics, and I focused on neodymium uh, in the Atlantic Ocean and using that as a tracer for sediment input since the last ice age. I decided to come to Kiel because of the really strong links with Geomar. Um, there was a particular professor there, uh, Dr. Martin Frank, who I really wanted to work with, and when the opportunity came to move here, I thought I'd better take it. I absolutely love Kiel. It's a great city to live in. It's really easy to get around by bike. Everything's super local. And it's been really easy to make friends here. Um, I'd say it's probably the best city I've ever lived in in terms of making friends. I'm going to be writing my master's thesis uh, on the changing sediment inputs to the South Atlantic at the opening of the South Atlantic during the Cretaceous. So I'll be using a whole uh, host of different radiogenic isotopes to trace how that's changed through time. Afterwards, I'd like to go on to a PhD. I've applied to a couple of places, but I'm still waiting to hear back. Take part in absolutely everything that you can. There's a lot of different things that you can get involved in. There's sports clubs, there's a climbing center. Um, just take every opportunity that you have. I am Tina. I did my bachelor studies here in Kiel at the Kiel University. And the question, why did I stay here in Kiel, is pretty easy because it's a very nice city to live in. I was born and raised here in Kiel, so I have a big affinity to water and I feel comfy if I'm surrounded by water. And another uh, big aspect is that we have a lot of young people here in Kiel. We have not just the Kiel University, but we have also the University of Applied Techniques and we have a College of Arts here. So a lot of young people and a lot of parks also. Kiel is a very green city. And another aspect is that uh, Kiel has a very nice uh, size for a city, so you can do anything you want by bike. You just need to have proper clothes because sometimes it can be very windy and rainy. When I did my uh, bachelor studies, we had to choose some specific fields where we want to uh, specialize on. And what I chose was marine environment because it's, again, these, uh, these, this affinity to water. And that was a good choice, uh, what I noticed then, because I had a lot of fun in, in those lectures and I also had the chance to work as a student assistant um, here in the working group of Professor Kuhn. Uh, they are doing marine micropaleontology and I gained a lot of knowledge there uh, concerning different techniques which are used uh, in marine geosciences and also had the chance to participate in a research cruise. I already started with my master thesis um, under the supervision of Professor Christian Winter in the working group of coastal geology. And we are investigating uh, sand spit migration in the German Baltic Sea over the last 30 years. And these investigations are based on satellite images and orthophotos. And we're working with a Python-based tool uh, which digitizes shorelines. And we're, we're figuring out whether this works or not. And hopefully at the end, we have migration rates of sand spits in the German Baltic Sea. Every student here of the Kiel University should explore Schleswig-Holstein. Um, if you are a student here you, and you pay your semester fee, there is a semester ticket included. So you can uh, go by train in whole Schleswig-Holstein and also in Hamburg. And there are some pretty nice places uh, to see. It's not just Kiel, which is also pretty nice, of course, but we also have other cities like Lübeck or Flensburg. Um, you can go to the coastline of the Baltic Sea or at the North Sea. 
and maybe have just some delicious uh, fish or having doing a walk at the North Sea coast. Hi, uh, my name is Hanif and I come from Indonesia. Uh, I studied geology in Indonesia a couple of years ago and after I graduated, I've always wanted to pursue further education. So uh, when I finally got the opportunity, I decided to come here to Kiel. I've always been interested in the marine aspects of geoscience. So therefore, I started to look to a number of places and in the end, I found, I found out about Kiel and it is pretty well known about its uh, expertise in marine research. So after weighing a couple of things and considering a couple of things, when I got the opportunity, I come to Kiel. The most important thing is that it fits my scientific interests, like I've said just now. And uh, second of all, uh, it's very active uh, research activity in terms of marine science. And then also the fact that it is an international program. Uh, the studies are held in English. There are a lot of uh, international scientists as well, people with, with various backgrounds, with various uh, languages, and we all learn together, we all work together, and, it, and, and it's a, a wonderful thing to do. And also, finally, the fact that it is also interdisciplinary, and I think it's a good thing, uh, because people with various scientific background, when they can work together, they can tackle more scientific questions. At the moment, I'm working at one of the research groups at the Institute of Geosciences, and I'm particularly uh, in charge in one of the uh, new uh, student exchange programs, which is called the CEU, or the, U the European University of the Seas, and it involves the, the exchange of uh, marine-based students uh, to a number of uh, universities in Europe that are, that are also focusing in marine research. So the, uh, this enables a lot of students from across Europe regardless of their nationalities or their backgrounds, and they can uh, exchange the knowledge, their, their perspectives, and they can learn and work together. As an international student, I think it would be best for you if you can get involved in a lot of activities, because you can do a lot of activities here, be it uh, scientific activities, academic activities, even social activities, and uh, also uh, meet a lot of people, meet new people, people that speak a different, uh, a different language from you, people that come from a different culture from you, uh, just get together. And people like to do that here, and, and it's a wonderful thing as an international student. And also, always seek for personal growth, because you can get plenty of that here. Let's now meet our current study coordinator, Henriette Kolling. Let's see if she's in the lecture hall. My job as a study coordinator is basically to know all about your study plan. So that means if you have problems about your studies or your courses in general, you can come to me and I can try to help. But also if you plan a semester abroad or you just return from a semester abroad and want to get credits for a course you took at another university, I can try to help you. So the easiest way to contact me is via email. I usually try to respond within a couple of hours that doesn't work always, but I try my best. Um, another way to contact me is, of course, to call me. If you have an urgent um, issue, that might be the best way to do it. Um, but you can also just drop by my office, depending on the corona situation. Um, but you can just knock on my door and try and see if I have time. And if I don't have time immediately, we can always find an appointment um, where we can solve your questions and issues. In the Marine Geoscience Master, you will learn the modern state of marine geoscience and technology. The basic uh, focus of your studies will be coastal geology, past climates and their reconstructions, biogeochemistry and paleoecology. By the end of your studies, you hopefully will know all the fundamentals of the geological, biological, geochemical and physical processes in the ocean. The Marine Geoscience Master is divided into three categories. The mandatory courses cover all aspects of the marine geoscience and they are obligatory courses which you can choose freely and also from the programs Geophysics and Climate Physics. By the end of your study, you will all have practical experience in laboratories and on the field, by land and by sea. Usually all of our students um, join a short scientific cruise during their studies. All of your lecturers are scientists who work on the field that they are teaching. Some of the lecturers are from the GEOMA, which we have a close collaboration. 
That means during your studies you will meet a lot of scientists who work actively on a field and that might be a good chance to meet uh, someone to write a master thesis with or even start your career. When I'm not a study coordinator, I'm also a scientist and I'm working on the northern North Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean and my main focus is to reconstruct sea ice changes and to see what impact sea ice has on the climate and on climate change because that is one of the crucial questions uh, we do not know yet. I hope you were able to get a small impression of why my fellow students and I decided to study marine geosciences here in Kiel. With a degree from our program, there are many paths open to you and I'm already excited to see which path you will take here.